30 Irish Setter Facts Every Owner Should Know Number 1. A spirited gun dog known for its grace, swiftness, and flashy red coat, the Irish Setter is a striking medium to large-sized dog. Male Irish Setters typically stand 26 to 28 inches tall and weigh 65 to 75 pounds, while females are a bit smaller, standing 24 to 26 inches tall and weighing around 55 to 65 pounds. Number 2. The breed stands out for its stunning red coat, ranging from chestnut to mahogany shades, which gives them an attractive appearance. Their beautiful coat is moderately long and flat, featuring silky hair on their ears, forelegs, and thighs, along with a charming fringe of hair on their belly and chest. Number 3. Their silky coat sometimes slightly wavy, particularly around the ears, chest, tail, and back legs, forms a feathery fringe that enhances their elegance. Typically, they sport a deep mahogany or rich chestnut red color without any black. However, some might have a touch of white on their chest, throat, or toes, or a thin stripe down their skull. Number 4. These dogs display an alert and gentle expression, with medium-sized, somewhat almond-shaped eyes that have a dark to medium brown color and are positioned at a moderate distance from each other. Their ears sit a bit lower, close to the head, matching their feathered hair. These ears often convey various emotions, especially when the dog is happy or alert. Number 5. Bred for hunting, Irish setters possess long, sinewy legs and a robust rear drive, making them among the fastest of sporting dogs. Their long, sturdy tail, adorned with silky feathering like the rest of their coat, is carried horizontally or slightly curved upwards, aiding their balance during pursuits and adding to their graceful appearance. Number 6. Irish setters can be divided into two subtypes, field and show variety. Show type setters epitomize the classic image with a thick red coat, tall stature, and sturdy build, while field type setters maintain their working abilities with less feathering, finer bones, and a more compact build. Number 7. According to Stanley Korn's book, The Intelligence of Dogs, Irish Setters are classified as above-average working dogs, ranking 35th out of 79 dog breed groups in terms of obedience or working intelligence. They typically grasp new commands within 15 to 25 repetitions and tend to follow the first command 70% of the time. Number 8. These Setters, while intelligent, can exhibit a strong will and determination that may come across as stubbornness. At times, they might disregard commands if they're not in the mood. However, this behavior can be addressed easily through training methods that involve plenty of treats and praise. Number 9. As a hunting breed, Irish setters are highly athletic and need ample exercise. Without enough physical activity, they may become restless and bored, which can lead to destructive chewing behaviors. Providing them with both mental and physical stimulation is crucial to keeping them content and well-behaved. Number 10. These dogs make excellent watchdogs thanks to their immense loyalty, alertness, and courage. Their innate attentiveness to their surroundings means they'll alert you if something seems amiss, making them super companions for home security. Number 11. The breed has a high prey drive, leading them to chase smaller animals like squirrels, birds, and even cats due to their hunting background. This inclination makes it essential to keep them on a leash to prevent accidents as they can be relentless in their pursuit and less attentive to their surroundings. Number 12. Generally a healthy breed, the Irish Setter has an average life expectancy of 12 to 15 years. With proper care and affection, many of these dogs can exceed these years, leading longer and more fulfilling lives. Number 13. While generally robust, Irish Setters, like all breeds may face specific health challenges. Some conditions to be mindful of include hip dysplasia, hypothyroidism, epilepsy, progressive retinal atrophy, bloat, bonostiitis, and entropion. Number 14. These dogs are also susceptible to osteochondrosis desiccans, a condition arising from improper cartilage growth in the joints. This issue can result in painful joint stiffening, causing the dog difficulty in bending their elbow. Number 15. One inherited health concern to be cautious of in this breed is canine leukocyte adhesion deficiency. This condition affects the white blood cell's ability to combat infections, weakening the immune system, and leaving the dog susceptible to immunological complications and recurring infections. Number 16. Irish setter puppies, typically between 4 and 8 months old, might also develop a bone condition called hypertrophic osteodystrophy due to elevated protein and calcium levels in their diet. This ailment results in lameness, fever, loss of appetite, swollen joints, and lethargy. Occasionally fatal, treatment involves steroids, antibiotics, and and pain relievers. Number 17. The term setter originated with a type of setting spaniel mentioned in the book Caius's De Cannabis Britannicus from 1570. Although not precisely like today's Irish setter, it performed similar work. Over time, people made alterations leading to the development of taller red and white dogs, eventually evolving into the setters we are familiar with today. Number 18. Irish setters, as their name implies, originated from Ireland, a country renowned for its fine and beautiful dogs. They were likely developed there in the 18th century, stemming from a mix of English 
Setters, Spaniels, Pointers, and Gordon Setters. Number 19, the first Irish Setters were originally known as Red Spaniels or Mater Roo, translating to Red Dog in Gaelic. In earlier times, they didn't always possess the solid dark red coat seen today. Many displayed a combination of white and red. Some even had red coats speckled with small white spots, earning them the moniker of Shower of Hail Dogs. Number 20, through continued breeding, Irish Setters were refined to become entirely red without any white spots. In the current breed standard, having a bit of black on their coat is considered a fault in appearance, although it's not a disqualifying factor for show dogs. Number 21, the US welcomed its first Irish setter, Elcho, in 1875. This remarkable dog quickly became a superstar in dog shows and field activities. Shortly thereafter, in 1878, the American Kennel Club registered their inaugural Irish setter, Admiral, as one of the initial nine breeds acknowledged by the AKC at that time. Number 22, the modern Irish Setters breed standard was initially established by the Irish Red Setter Club in Dublin and approved on 29th of March 1886. It featured a 100-point scale allocating points for specific physical attributes. While the point system was eventually discarded, the standard with minor alterations remains largely unchanged in most countries where the breed is formally recognized. Number 23, between 1874 and 1948, 760 Irish Setters attained confirmation championships, while only five achieved field championships. Concern arose among enthusiasts of the original breed, prompting Field and Stream magazine in 1940 to advocate for a revival of the breed's working dog heritage. Number 24, renowned for their excellence in the field, show rings, and as delightful family companions, Irish Setterers have won the Westminster Kennel Club's Sporting Group competition 11 times. As per the AKC's list of most popular dog breeds of 2022, the Irish Setterer held the 71st position out of 199 registered breeds based on nationwide registrations. Number 25, getting an Irish pup can be quite expensive, often ranging from $800 to $1,500 in the US. Show line or exceptional dogs, in particular, may command prices of $2,500 or higher, making them a significant investment for prospective owners. Number 26, the book Big Red in 1945, along with the 1962 Disney movie, significantly boosted the popularity of Irish setters in the US. Alongside this, the 33rd US president, Harry Truman, a dedicated dog enthusiast, had his own Irish setter named Mike, further contributing to the breed's popularity. Number 27, the breed continued to be a part of White House life beyond Harry Truman's tenure. When the 37th US President Richard Nixon received an Irish setter named King Timaho as a birthday present from his staff, it marked another instance of these delightful dogs gracing the presidential residence. Number 28, these setters have gained recognition in various fictional settings, making appearances in several TV series and films. They were featured in the 2007 American drama series Mad Men, the 2012 American comedy horror film John Dies at the End and the 2010 British drama series Sherlock. Number 29, Alexander II, the Tsar of Russia, was an admirer of this breed, particularly cherishing Milord, a beloved Red Setter. This loyal companion accompanied the Emperor to the corridors and grand palaces of the Russian Empire, earning the affection of both the ruler and the public, ultimately becoming the Tsar's cherished confidant. Number 30, the breed has served as mascots for many prestigious organizations. T-Bone, an Irish Setter, represents Pace University sports teams and the University of Notre Dame used Irish setters as mascots from 1924 to 1967. Peggy Brown, a female Irish setter, was even the pet of the Finnish Air Force Fighter Squadron 24 during the Second World War. Alright guys, now which of these Irish setter facts surprised you the most? Please let us know in the comments below. Thanks for watching.